Hello, everyone. My name is Yu Qingzhai. My project is Shanghai Tower. At present, it is the highest building in China and the, the second highest building in the world. And it is designed by Gensler. After analyzing this building, I decided to separate it into four parts to build the grasshopper and rhino model. The first part is the base floor plan. I use their logic to create the base floor of the building. It is the main part of this design. I create I start to create a circle with radiances 88 meter. Then I rotate it to another two circle. So, um, so now you can see there are three same circle. Next I create a circle which tangent with those three circles. Then I connect the, the midpoint and the intersection point to create a line. Next, I divide this three line and choose the midpoint to create a three new same circle. The next step is to divide the new three circles and combine, uh, combine with the mid circle to form the arch of the base floor plan. The merge them. Now you can see this is the base floor plan of the Shanghai Tower. Part two is the tower. I create the tower by using some information which gave by Gensler. I generate a series of number first with six meter of the interval number of 121 counts 121 represents floor numbers of the tower then the list of number is covered by unit z next i move it so you can see this is the similar form of the tower for now then I will start the rotation of this building. The rotation starts from 0 to 0 0.75. Each plan's uh, rotation angle is controlled by construction domain. A component to build up a domain range from 0 to 0 0.75 and distribute 121 times. The rotated plan will also be scaled from bottom floor to the top floor with non-uniform factor. The number will be gradually be reduced by the interval of minus 0 0.005 121 times. Then the rotate model will be looks like this. Finally, the rotate model are loved and kept to create the tower skin, which will be baked in Rhino. The third part is the floor plate. I create some floor plates of the building to demonstrate the building has nine different program spaces. I use list item to pick up nine floor and then extrude and cap them. So now you can see building seems like to be separate into nine parts. The last part is roof. First, I reverse the list item to choose the top part of this building. Then I explode them. I use the sequence to connect those points to form the shape of the roof. So you can see this is the shape of the roof. Next, offset this curve and uh, the base curve of the top part. Last, I will loft uh, these curves. So you can see it will be like this. So 
This is a rendering of the Shanghai Tower. That's it. Thank you.